Well, as you can see, it's uh, still of night. It's getting quite late. Uh, it's been snowing. And I wanted to get this video presentation done. And uh, I ran out of time. So I thought I'll start it without delay and uh, redeem the time. And uh, so um, this is going to be really about um, gang stalking perpetrator forgiveness and uh, targeted individuals and uh, and all that's associated with that uh, criminal machination. Um, so I'm gonna start with a word of prayer. Um, I've had a prayer, but um, I'd like to offer another one. Um, I'm gonna offer this uh, video. This is uh, just an offering in faith. Uh, so I'd like to start with a word of prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your your word, your beloved son, and been able to boldly approach you and uh, ask of you in faith, believing. I pray and ask you, Father, this be an offering to thy glory, thy truth, and thy love, and you would bless this offering in, in your will, and it's your good pleasure, and it would be used to edify your reach someone, help somebody, convict someone, however it may be used as I offer it for your your son, uh, my saviour Jesus Christ, I pray that you would uh, help me give a concise testimony and uh, the things on my heart and mind that uh, you've taught and showed me, uh, help me be sober and uh, sincere and I pray Father that Anyone listening will be, uh, this will be a blessing and of use to them in some degree and I, this is all I ask Father in, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. So, um, forgiveness, I want to add some additional thoughts I've really considered recently that just brought to my attention and, uh, that I've considered before and uh, that, that are considered by others as, as well um, but not as much as the um, victim of somebody being targeted uh, people forget that uh, the gang stalkers are victims so on a personal level to all those people who've gang stalked me and there's been many 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 way, many ways of different people and I've been on the end of I've had I've had a relationship in with these people so I've tasted ver various researched and discovered what it is I actually tasted so I know that how Gang stalking is used by many different hands, uh, corporations, commercial builders, councils. Um, it's it, it's a tool, a tool to be used. So there's many uses and many ways that people use it. And I'll talk a bit about where that all comes from, the head and how it all works down the chain, um, from just by my experience and research and placing the dots together so I'd invite people to not take what I'm saying as fact but I'm just being honest of what I found so I could be an error so I just invite you to take the responsibility of examining these things and checking what I say for your own uh, reasoning your own examination and your, your own uh, seek of knowledge or truth um, so my perpetrators, I'd just like to say to them, yeah, you know, yeah, and, and and just to thank God for the forgiveness I've received and uh, and the importance of forgiving. Now, people go, oh, I can't forgive these people. Well, 
Okay, I do forgive these people from the simple fact that um, I've been forgiven. I forgive the people that are, gonna, that are doing it now. I forgive the people that will take their place if if that be God's will, if that be the case. Um, but I've received forgiveness and it's expected of me to be forgiving. And I forgive not because I'm expected to, but because I've been, I've received the love of God, the forgiveness of God. So I'm inclined to forgive others. Now that doesn't mean I don't, I, I, I don't believe justice, and they've escaped justice because they haven't. And I'm going to talk a bit later um, on justice, uh, world justice, uh, man's justice by the law, and and God's justice and divine justice and how the two, how God's justice incorporates man's justice, but how man's justice doesn't incorporate God's justice, and man's justice is founded on the principles of God's law, and I'll talk about a bit uh, a bit more in depth, but I just want to uh, stay on the, um, the points of uh, forgiveness of forgiving these perps and shedding some light on their circumstances from my experience and I'd just like to say that I, I do forgive those that have um, I have compassion for these people because there's so many different motives behind perpetrators I've experienced that everyone's different so every reason's different and I'm not saying I understand every reason I just understand that from the right motive that it was the, the wrong motives. Um, and God has forgiven these people, but they haven't received God's forgiveness if they, had, if they don't believe. And if they continue doing these things, they certainly haven't received uh, God's forgiveness because they wouldn't do those things in the first place. So these people need forgiveness. They need hope from, and a second chance from the mistakes they've made. So. I don't want to see um, them robbed. If they get caught, serve them right, that's what they get for doing these wicked things. So I want to, I want to reach out to these people and warn you. Firstly, you, you've broken the law. Now, whether you believe you're keeping the law, the people that you're, you, who've encouraged you to break the law and who, who are your officers and over you have also broken the law. Therefore, you're both compromised. You're expendable. So your best option is is going to court, getting caught, because your your life could be in danger. You just don't know. You could end up being targeted. Uh, you could be persecuted. You could be living in fear, and you might not see your escape. Hence, why I'm doing this video. There is escape, and that escape is to put away fear and face your consequences honestly with God. Fear God, and seek His forgiveness, and He will deliver you through those circumstances. Um, because there's divine justice because you even though you, uh, you get caught and you go to prison you're still under the condemnation of God's justice for rejecting his forgiveness and mercy so whether whether you get caught and whether individuals get justice it, it, so it, it, you know it doesn't it doesn't stop the wickedness it's just one at a time, one bit of justice at a time. It's not overall justice because you've got to think of all the people that haven't justly heard. And if you get one case through court, that's not going to get the whole, the whole lot through the door. So there's going to be compromise. And I'm not, I'm not wishing anyone not to have their day in court. Cause I, I'm grateful and thankful to all those people that are, are, are you know, are standing for the for the rights of targeted individuals and, and protesting and, and, and campaigning and uh, I'm very grateful for those people. However, I am... I have a different approach. I'm not against those things. I am campaigning for Christ. I am, I am campaigning for divine justice and divine mercy. So I'm not against those things. I'm just... My concentration is saving souls, not getting temporary justice in a wicked world I, I'm, I've got my eye on the uh, God's divine plan and that is forgiveness of sins 
and to escape divine justice and th th that is the foundation of um, you know all the law and all other justice is uh, it's all dealt with um, Christ has dealt with all justice he's put all things right because people don't believe they don't know that therefore they don't know the law and they don't realise the people when they're breaking it um, our whole establishment is founded on broken laws but um, on, on the going side I'm starting to freeze and um, I'll continue this with a bit more depth and I'm, I'm going to present some uh, just some evidence to examine and invite people to research so uh, um, I'm going to leave it there and uh, head indoors Right, having warmed up and um, regathered my thoughts, so I started to rush because I was getting cold. So um, I got the video started, so I'm continuing on, continuing on in the uh, in the way established in, by the word, uh, with thanks and uh, as I said before, hopefully to. The glory of God, uh, the goodwill of God to um, help somebody, reach somebody. Uh, however, uh, that's what I'm doing in this video. Um, so I'm going to read from the Word of God, uh, the Scriptures. Uh, the God's law, God's Word, uh, given by His Son, who's, who came in the flesh, who's Jesus Christ the Lord. So he's the author and finisher of the living word. He is the living word. He's the author and finisher of, of the written word. And uh, that's where our law comes from. Um, now we have evidence. and But people don't believe, so they won't accept the evidence. So I'll give you one example. You won't, you won't be able to remove this. Uh, you couldn't get this through court and overturn it. And that is the f simple fact that Israel... The seed of Israel are from God, and through the seed of Israel we have the law, because Jesus gave them the law, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, gave, um, gave the law to the world, and it started with Abraham, the Abraham, yeah, um, well it started before that at the beginning, but uh, the law, the uh, the law given to the Israelites to keep them in the way, the way established from eternity, from the beginning, uh, came through the Jewish people, they are the chosen people. And now it says in the Bible that the lost tribes of Israel are scattered. Well, they're not lost to God. We know through simple history, through evidence, through lawful evidence. Uh, let me read you the scripture. Uh, now it's in Second Corinthians, the book of Second Corinthians, given by Paul to the Corinthian saints and to the church, uh, speaking to the church. In the mouth of two or three, uh, I'm, I'm just reading a part of a verse. In the mouth of two or three uh, witnesses shall every word be established. Uh, that's uh, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen. Now, by two or three witnesses, um, crime scenes, law, evidence is established. For instance, if you had a shooting and you'd found the projectile, the bullet, stuck in a wall, then you found the casing, you've got two pieces of evidence there. That's a lawful witness. You find the gun, then you match the, the projectile, the bullet, to the, the rifling in the gun, You've got you've got three pieces. Or you've got two law. You've got two pieces that make up one lawful piece of evidence. Then you've got the gun. That's a that's a third piece of evidence. And then you put those two together, with the one already established, and the gun. You've got a lawful witness. So you know that bullet, one hundred percent, was fired from that gun, and we know that through forensics. But that's just one example. That's how. That principle is from the Old Testament that was given to Abraham. You can't dismiss that. There's no other society in history that gives us right and wrong in the law. It's all is it's a big dog eats all. 
It's what the, the fat man says. It's what whoever got into power goes. It was like mankind goes its own way, does its own thing. So when it gets into power, it becomes top heavy. This is through iniquity because it's uh, unfounded. So we have the law, we have lawful witnesses. We have the Bible is where the law comes from. That's where our law comes from. Because we don't believe it, we can't, you can't see the people who are breaking the law. And the people who are breaking the law are the people who are corrupted and they're, they're transgressing, they're compromised and they're unfounded because they've broke the law that they're claiming to serve. Because the general population in their ignorance doesn't believe the, the word and they haven't received the law themselves, therefore they don't keep the law. Um, it says in the Bible, uh, I think it's in the book of First John, that anybody that doesn't believe and confess that Jesus Christ, the Lord, come in the flesh and laid his life down, so holy and sinless for the sins of the world, for the glory of God in the obedience to God, to, to take up his life again. Anyone that doesn't confess uh, the man Jesus Christ, the living God in the man Jesus Christ, is the Antichrist, a liar. And that's the truth. If you examine yourself, we're all liars, we're all born liars. And it was only Jesus Christ who told us that. It was only through the law that we have this. So we have a plenty ample of evidence on the earth. Because of unbelief, people won't see that evidence. They see whatever they want to see. They might have knowledge, but their knowledge is unfounded. It's not in a complete framework. So uh, it's, it's wrong. It's not whole. It's unfounded and it's, it's only part knowledge. It will, you might increase in knowledge, but if you haven't got love, if you haven't got wisdom, to apply that knowledge and you deny where that knowledge and love and wisdom come from and then your knowledge is cut off you're a dead branch and you'll be burnt in a fire because you, you've got no life you've got no you've got no roots established in the truth you might hold the truth partly so there is ample of evidence for for the law and justice and mercy and uh, it coming it's of God uh, so um, I'm going to like to re-emphasise about my perps, my um, being gang stalked. Now, if you're not familiar with the term, that just means uh, that gang stalking is a way of targeting somebody you want to destroy, eliminate, be quiet and um, spread false rumour. It, it's been, it goes... It's nothing new, excuse me. It goes back through time. Um, there's examples in Christ's time when, when the gospel was being preached by, uh, by Paul and Peter. Uh, these were witnesses of the resurrected Saviour who, who, who testified, were living testi testimonies, and they sealed their testimony with their blood. They laid their lives down. So they're living lawful witnesses. There's two more witnesses I'd just like to throw in the mix. Uh, and, and they're all in here, so, that, so that's a complete witness of all these lawful points that build up the whole picture. But it, it, it's a believer's book, and if you haven't got, if you're not established on the law, you haven't got the law. So your 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 truth is in bits, like a, a an apple with blemishing on it. It's got good parts in it, but really it's 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 rotten. It's no good. You discard it. Uh, you need a complete holy perfect standard witness to be founded on and we're, we're not those witnesses we're unjust and we therefore we make unjust judgments so until we've received a just faithful witness we have nothing to go on nothing to stand on nothing to measure by um, my perpetrators uh, I'd like to uh, just scan over, um, cover over the areas where I've, I've encountered it and 
But I'd like to cover that um, point in history where it, it's taken place as an example and how that practice goes on today. But it's a different stage today, but it's the same practice. Now the gospel is being spread and the gospel is basically to set people free that they may have, that, that they may govern their own lives by a true standard of, uh, of a just law. So I'll quickly cover the, the, the law given to Moses was, was to prepare the way for love. That, um, and that, that love only come from a holy God, from a, a pure, loving, charity, just, righteous God. And he came to draw all men unto himself so that they may know that law and receive that law and, and be founded upon that law like a level playing field. Uh, because of iniquity and mankind's idea, it becomes set up in their favour. This is called iniquity. And the whole world's in iniquity. We all know it. And we all tolerate it. Well, the world tolerates it. And, and there's those who, who, who have no part in it. But they are in the minority of minorities. They're hated, they're despised, because they don't agree with everyone else. They stand against. They're not respecters of people. They're respecters of what's right and what's true and doing the right thing because of their God-fearing, because they've received God, they know God. So that therefore they're, not, they're going to love their neighbour as themselves. And this was the law. And Christ fulfilled the law. He didn't take away the law. He didn't take away the, all, all, all the scriptures. But what he did was establish the law. He fulfilled the law. He completed the law. And then the law continues through him. And, and, and it needs to be established upon him. And the only way to receive, to know Christ is to, um, and to love your neighbour as yourself, is to receive that love that you have not got. So you have to have the pure love of God received within yourself before you are established on that love to be able to selfishly love others and be forgiving because you've received that forgiveness and you've received that love. Therefore you, you desire to serve that love because you've been loved. Not because you want to um, earn brownie points and score points with God. You can't score points with God. You love because you've been loved. And like the scripture says, we love God because he's first loved us. Now how do we know he's loved us? Because if we believe in a love that doesn't exist, we're not going to receive anything because that's blind faith. We're putting our faith in something that is, that's faithful. And this is a faithful word. It's the word of God. It's a spiritual word. It's a holy word. This is the word of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the word of God the Father. There's only one God. There's only one word. There's only one law. There's only one way that law, that law came. That was through the Jews. By Jesus Christ. By God the Father. By the sole God of the entire universe. The creator. Sent his word. His son to die. For Israel and the whole world. And he gave us his word. He gave us his son gave us his faithful word and it's covered by his holy precious blood it's covered by the blood of the best people that have ever walked this earth because of that 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 man Christ Jesus that child of God Jesus Christ the son of God who's equal to God because he's God's love he's God's mercy he serves God the father he came to do the father's will to glorify that love to give that love to be that love he is that love he was that love He'll always be that love. He's without beginning and end. He's the Alpha and Omega. And he's the author of this book. And he's forgiven these perps. But they don't know God. And these people are deceived. Even the people that use these people are deceived. In uh, So as the Gospel and the Word spread after Christ's resurrection... And the good news, and the good news is that you can be saved and free from these yokes and all these rules that bind and uh, are corrupt. But God's, God's rules are love thy neighbour as thyself, and Christ fulfilled that. And that went on fire in that, those times. Um, but we, we've got a lying history. 
the enemies were in the history. So we, we we've only got a faithful witness of the the events of that day. Any any other witness has that's corrupt is not in here because this book has been put together by faithful many 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 copies of the original scriptures that the the apostles penned and there was a copy after copy after copy and it's only the faithful copies that are consistently identical to each other that the word was established that's elite this is how the king james was uh, translated by that same principle by two or three parts of the truth and if there's any error they wouldn't mix together so they're thrown out and this is if you do your research do your history this is how the faithful text was preserved and it's 98 something percent faithful and the mistakes were only little things dots and tittles um, and that, that 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 was the states of men not God say that the word has been preserved There's the, God's even said all throughout his, the, the different books in the word that he would preserve his word and his word caught fire and that caused fear because it tears down all the debt chairs all the iniquitous setups the abomination set up in where man has favor over others and the poor get forgotten and and then you get this victimized abuse you get this dominance and you get this all these fat cats and then, and then they stamp all over the uh, people who aren't part of them this is called iniquity and inju iniquity simply means injustice so we had this uh, throughout history we've had this iniquitous setup by man corrupting the law there's nothing wrong with the laws it's the people who exercise them falsely and our laws were given of God to, to, to punish criminals. But when the public aren't paying attention because they don't believe, that they are criminals and they're liars. And then that's who runs the country and that's who gets in, into power. That's who gets all their hands on the toys. And that's who, that. then they start terrorising their own people. It's anything goes because the people who get into it are Luciferian, are Satanists. They want to overthrow freedom. Everything's good. You try and get anything good going in the world, they're there to... Uh, wickedness and evil is there to overturn it. Because you, people don't believe the truth. Therefore, they don't see the devil. They deny Israel. They deny the facts. They deny any evidence. Therefore, they won't have faith. Not faith in a load of mumbo jumbo, but faith in a faithful, lawful book that, that cleans your conscience. What, what cleans your conscience? Not an imaginary forgiving yourself. You can't forgive yourself of doing something that, that has affected your conscience and you're not worthy of, you've not sought the author of who can forgive you. You can't pretend to forgive yourself. And that's where. Uh, Justice, law, uh, man's justice is temporary. So um, these establishments have been throughout history. It's nothing new. So in, in the time of the gospel, the people that it, uh, the gospel upset and were fearful of it wanted to hide it. They wanted, they didn't want the news to get out. They denied Christ's resurrection. They denied all the people that rose out of their graves. But we have a faithful record, and that faithful record is believed by the faithful. So faithful have believed Christ and they've received the faithful promise from Christ. So they, they, therefore they, they believe the word. They believe the word because they've received the word. Therefore they can believe it. And in, in, in Christ's time, uh, the people are fearful, the Jewish leaders, because um, they rejected their Messiah, you see. And they, they were lost, they were ungrafted. And, and they were apostate and they rejected the expected Messiah they didn't recognize them because of the hardness of their hearts so they were against it the, Jew, the Jews are loved by God God is merciful but they are antichrist because they've rejected the author of their their word and their law and 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 so the gospel went to all the world the Gentile people and it was accepted uh, but by the wicked and the rulers of the world, they tried to hide 
the spreading of it, they tried to capture it and they tried to own it and dominate it and that's where we are today. Because uh, the rock is free, it's a level playing field. It, it's to receive from the author of that, that rock and that rock is Christ. And you go to that author and you receive that word, he puts you on that rock, that rock's a level playing field. It's not a respect for a person. There's no one that, that's chief on that rock except the rock. And, and who he may put someone with more responsibility on that rock to oversee the others, but he is the the he's the chief corner, he's the foundation, he's the he's a living word, he's the rock. And he will put anyone on that who who believes and calls upon his in him in faith and believes. Uh, because of rejection, the world carries on in iniquity and unbelief. So we have an uneven playing field, and and all man's philosophies are based on that model: wickedness and and selfishness. And they're blinded because they haven't got the truth. So they keep uh, history repeats itself, and that's why because the truth's rejected, and it's been there all the time. Because from it come all all these ideas. Because of creation, and God created man. Man didn't create God. And it's an established fact by law, by God's word, faithful word, because He is, and it could, and and the promise, and this practice was gang stalking happened by these Jews who paid thugs secretly. They approached thugs who who would do anything for prostitution, drugs, sex, whatever, because this is you know these people know uh, man's nature. They know who to approach and what they need to get the job done and that's quiet in the Christians so they would pay uh, mobs to go and stir the crowd up like they did against Christ crucify him you know they put people in there to they that you know they they appear as your friend and then they start um, affecting the crowd or they get other people to do it so thugs were hired to um, cause disruption and throwing contention and, and disrupt the truth wherever it was found and this is a, this is the same practice this is gang stalking and gang stalking is just the modern day equivalent and that the chief author of gang stalking is the devil and you go oh no you blame the devil well I just want to explain something now the devil is a reality he's a, a, a fallen power and he he is against God, and he's the author of, of of all these lies and false philosophies and this all the mystery religion, all the uh, iniquity established, all the Freemasonry, all the all the the craft that are in the similar vein, that all the hybrids of Freemasonry. You know, um, every culture's got its own Freemasonry, and they're all linked together. But they've all got different names and they all worship different things but they're all united in evil and secrecy and wickedness they call it light and knowledge but their knowledge is just getting it's secret and it empowers and feeds their vanity and their ego they become more, more deluded and, it, and it, it, it's called mystery Babylon the head of this iniquity and the authors are, are, of the how Satan works through people is through man's desire, through his heart, through his wickedness and through what he believes and holds to against the truth. So anyone who denies that Jesus Christ is the truth is a liar. You can uh, say Jesus Christ come in the flesh but not believe that. You're not really confessing Christ. You're just glancing and using the name. And that's what religion does. It uses the name of Christ falsely. It doesn't put it in practice in its works. It, it's not showing the fruit of belief. It's showing the fruit of unbelief. Therefore, you know it's a lie. And 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 the head of this iniquity is the pagan mystery religions who are practiced by the people who are the authors and founders of the Catholic Church, uh, of the Roman empire and all that mix and all the all the you know uh, the catholic church is, is termed as the mother of harlots 
because it's the chief power it allows all the others to operate and they're all joined and united in iniquity I'm not saying they all sit around and talk at the same table these are all ambiguous parts that the de devil works through and it's united in iniquity on a yoke and a chain and it chains everyone else who compromises to it because they've rejected Christ therefore they accept the iniquity established and set up and it has a hold on you because you don't know God and therefore you'll pray because it knows the psychological of people and gang stalking is an instrument of that beast and that beast is the in, in the the high offices in the, in the secret works done in man's heart and that that high those principalities are satanic and these people worship that principality openly but you don't believe that so you don't know that and you won't see that but if you research that this is what this is all, all these secret societies are into ritual it's all, it's all ritualistic totalistic and uh, progressions and stages of um, really it's lie upon lie but they see it as progression of becoming a, a god and it's they have to in, initiate they're initiated there it, it, it's a corrupt model of of the truth and it's done in secret and it is full of devils and wicked people and it, and it and, and it's hedged up by a guise of charity work because it recruits patsies to be the false face so they can practice the wickedness behind it in under the noses of the ignorant and the naive i.e. the general public because they don't believe that people are so wicked and they're so evil or get a grip, wake up this is, you know, this is not this is not tinsel town this is the, this is the world this is the earth, this is, um, just look at history and uh, look at what you can do, look at what you're capable of doing from just the bad things you've done in your own life. Just think what man's in heart and then and, 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 and put that, or what, what would those men do in those, pl and how long does that take, you know, how easy is it to throw in and give, you know, give over to the, the the popular opinion, the flow, and compromise what you believe and would you die for it? Well obviously these people don't because they're fearful. They're not they're fearful of getting caught, they're fearful of losing out. They're not they don't fear God. They fear they fear their own shadows and uh, get caught in these things. So these the, the, everyone really in the world is a victim of their own ignorance and their own sin and their own vanity and their own you know their own desires and uh, so I'm reaching out to the perps who actually do these things to let you know that you, you have forgiveness and there is a way out don't matter how fearful of you are if you're fearful of the people that are working for just like to let you know I've seen them come and go I've seen them I've not seen them die, but I've no, I've heard of their demise. I've heard, you know, of their illness, of this, that, and the other. Um, I've been targeted by um, shareholders from a uh, investment bankers who hedge up a uh, housing association, and they, the, then then they employ a builders, then they employ dem demolishers. Then, then they get the council on board, and, and before you know it, they're turning people over and making all the investors are making f huge profit. And and um, I stood up against it, and I was targeted. Uh, my family were targeted. It, it I, I, I know, but uh, the proof is very difficult to prove. But I know that uh, my mum was targeted, and, and she was given a brain tumor. Uh, we were persecuted, we were gang stalked by uh, local youths, local criminals, local Satanists, whoever they can recruit through their setup, through their little knits, you see, they're all connected. I've been targeted by the Mormon church, I've been targeted by local Christian churches who are all linked to these people, but the people who are in these places, most of them aren't aware of it because they don't know how it's established. 
they don't go free. They're not in the leadership establishment. They're in the gullible, wool pulled over their eyes, compartment, and they li and they're sitting next to people who uh, abuse children and uh, do perverse things and sacrifices, and, and and they get a kick out of deceiving these people. They, they, they excuse the phrase, but they get an erection from. Um, and they get aroused by these things. They, they, they get their, uh, they get gratified by this wicked perversion of uh, deceiving people, and then torturing people, and and, and these people are, have probably suffered that um, experience their life in their own lives. It, it's a, the abused become the abusers, so. Um, these people, um, I've had these, these living next door to me and uh, I've seen them come and go and I often, I have compassion on them. I think what's happened to these people, you know, God, uh, Lord, have mercy on them, you know, help them repent, help them get caught, help the law, you know. The, you know, I pray for these um, people in Parliament who can do something about it to actually, you know, catch it. You know, see, catch that dark people though, and prosecute them. But I know this is is so endemic that these people can't because it you can't reveal the whole lot because the whole lot will collapse. And that's why these are right. You know, however best interest our politicians want, they are so compromised and yoked to this iniquity, and that iniquity is uh, Freemasonry. And that Freemasonry is all a seed of a bigger Freemasonry, and that's uh, the Catholic Church, and all, all what they're associated into. And they're, you know, that's the the core and heart of this religion. And they've yoked all the, they've deceived all the so-called Christian denominations, and they've given their allegiance to this body. Then all the Satanists, all the secret sickos and the witch covens they've you know then it goes up their leadership and their leadership goes under the pope because you know he's the head he's the mother of all these hybrid iniquitous groups and all these groups work together in the world it, and and they corrupt the law they try and overturn the law they try and change the law but our laws our laws here and, and because people don't know this, these people will dominate and they will increase because of, of unbelief. And where do you think it's going? Well, has it got to the point where it's gone beyond no return? It has, and it will. Because we have a word, we have God's word to say, people are going to continue in unbelief, therefore it's going to continue getting more wicked and wicked. People are going to get deceived. They're going to get sucked into the lie. They're going to get compromised. They can't get out because they're fearful. They can't see any other option. They think, who are, you know, these people, they rule the world. You know, imagine getting into uh, Parliament and realising, well, oh, hang on a minute, you know, I, it's not what I thought. I can't do nothing because it's already established. I can't change those who established it because I, I'll be out of a job. Because, because they're corrupt and they're, they're, they're camped around it. They've built around over the top of it and they're, they're dominating it. So anyone who tries to get there and do anything wrong, they're there to target them. They own the media. And you know, the whole world's set up. This is called mammon. You can't serve right. You can't serve mammon and truth. You can only serve truth, which is against mammon. So you can say you're a truth seeker and you're fighting for right and all this, but if you deny Jesus Christ, you're a liar and a deceiver. You're deceived, therefore you're deceiving others with what you believe is right, because you're unfounded. You're in the sand. You're on the sand and you're sinking. You're in the. You're going in the ditch and you're leading others into the ditch that follow you and, and trust you. You can't trust man, you can only trust that which is established and, and true, and that's God. And God, God's unmovable. There's no God beside him. 
and he's written that in his word and you can establish that for yourself through uh, belief so there's divine justice and that div divine justice was completed on on the cross by Jesus Christ so he's holy so we put an end to it by being the remedy so man went wrong from the beginning and every man since then has inherited that corruption so we're all corrupt, we're all a bad program gone wrong so Christ is the saviour, he came to save it with the remedy, with the vi antivirus but you've got to receive the antivirus to be founded and have all that corruption burnt out of you by, by something pure and uh, he's, fi he's fixed everything but that's eternal that's not, not that's not it making the world a better place as we see it because the world's got to run its course first because God has allowed man free agency and a choice which is why we have wickedness because men can choose to believe Jesus and do good and do right or to deny God and do what they think is right which is evil and antichrist because they're liars so you've got a house of liars in bed with each other so if you're working for these people think you've got to check yourself can you trust them you've been lied to if you're if you're um, thinking you're doing it for the queen and country or god's service and these people are just everyday people and you've been told they're domestic terrorists or they're, they're criminal under suspicion you need to question that and listen to your conscience because your conscience is the law right and wrong is the law and that law come by God um, so you need to understand that you're, com you're answerable to your con actions and saying that oh I was made to do it doesn't that doesn't dissolve your responsibility and uh, it doesn't dissolve the responsibility of those who coerce you or deceive you into doing it however that's done and uh, so you need to listen to your conscience if you're doing wrong you need to speak out against it if you're fearful you're going to comp compromise more and it's going to hurt you and affect you and this is why I'm, I forgive my perps because although I, I, I wouldn't feel sorry if they got caught and got their just comeuppance, they got murdered, that would, I, I wouldn't wish that on them. I wouldn't wish any ill on anybody. Um, but that, that would be a consequence of them playing with fire. And all I could say, well, that's just. And if they got caught and got prosecuted and thrown in prison by the law, even if that's corrupt people exercising the law on themselves, just as scapegoats, you know, they get their just, there's a bit of justice, they get their just desserts. But you think a just, um, justice, man's justice, the law is the, the criminal law to um, prosecute those who break the law, who step outside the established laws of our, our our land that we agree by living here we agree to adhere to or speak against and seek to change whatever but um, those people if they you know um, they need hope they need a way out of their compromise their fear and I, I, the only way out as, as I've stated is, is, is established is the Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And the way is the law, the, the God's law and the laws we have. Now you might not have faith in the law and you might not get any hope in any justice from the law, but you can't break the law. So you have to do things lawfully. So if you want to escape a a stronghold you need someone who can fight the strong man and that person is Christ so I invite you to seek Christ take his hand and he will establish you he will forgive you and justice will be served because he's paid the demands and, and you will be forgiven mercifully you confess 
to God. He'll forgive you and deliver you from the circumstances. For all I know, you might escape, and the chances are you'll escape legal law. Because it'd be so, it, everyone else is so up to their neck in it. God is merciful and he's outstretched to deliver all the wicked. That's divine justice. The whole world in, is in sin and remi remains under the condemnation of God. So if people die in their sin, they're judged. Right, that's justice. If they reject Christ, they're judged. That's, that's all justice. Right or wrong, good or bad. God has promised those who are downtrodden, he will save them, he will deliver them. And he'll give them an opportunity to be saved. And he said that about the wicked, the evil, you know, if they're, he said that he's not a respecter of persons, he died to save all men. And he's laid those terms down by, by believing, by calling upon the name of the Lord, in faith, in belief. And then he said you would, you'd receive his faithful promise, his forgiveness, eternal life. You'll be established on the law and you'll be... He'll protect you from those and you will fear God and you, then he'll take away your fear of the consequences. And he'll overturn those people and it won't come near you. But you don't know that because you're fearful and you're weak and you're spineless. And you're going to, you're compromised. You're either, you're either going to get expended. And I've seen this um, through people who have a lawful witness and they're serving the people who are corrupt. And rather than serve the people, i.e. the general public, like myself, they compromise what they know is true. And if they do stand for up, they, they have to face the consequences of the people. They might go missing. I've had evidence go missing and people not turn up for work and I've never seen them again because they had a lawful they, they were in a position to give a lawful statement against the corruption and the targeting and the persecution. Those people have a... someone has a quiet word in their ear or that person disappears and it's all... and the fear that creates amongst people, everyone shuts their mouth and toes the line. And because people are fearful, they, they, they toe the line, they won't stand up to it. Well, I stand up to it. I don't care who it is, I stand up to it because I, I have a faithful God because he's a rock. So if I fear the rock, what, why should I fear? You know, if I fear I fear God and what he could do to me, I know I, I, know I, I, I would have been in hell if I didn't believe him because I've received him. I, love, I fear him because I love him and I trust him because he's faithful and I put my trust in him many many I put my faith in him daily and he's, he's remained faithful so I know he's true because he's given me his word he's given me his law he's given me his rock he's given me his faithful promise and I know that promise is true because I've received it so there is a, there is an escape for all targeted individuals all gang stalkers all people and this is what this video is for us for the perps for the gang stalkers because you're compromised you will, you're either going to face prosecution or you're going to die in your sin. You're going to die in a weak, pathetic, shut-down state because you, you weren't spineless enough to stand up to these people. Therefore, you become a, you, you, you get pushed out into the, into the world and you, you, you remain under, you know, under people's feet, under the bed, hiding. Because you know that you, you, you've got, you haven't got a leg to stand on because you were weak and um, you, you need strength and I was weak, I was weaker than that but I saw, I, I saw the love of God and received it and that gave me strength, that put me on the rock that put salt in me, that put a spine in me and a backbone you know that salt that I once had before I was saved didn't last very long, believe you me it didn't take me long to get wicked, violent, angry and you know, just self-justify my own actions because I, because somebody had treated me wrong, therefore I could treat them wrong. You know, the eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth sort of law. But um, I've given 
um, all my injustices. I, I'm not seeking worldly justice. I'm seeking either. I'm seeking mercy for those people to escape divine justice. So I'm not seeking um, forget uh, justice, uh, worldly justice, criminal justice for the people. But if they get, if it happens, I'm not. I'm not going to say no. Thank you. I'm going to welcome it. But I'm still going to have mercy and compassion on those people. I'm still going to want those people to be saved, to to receive what I've received, regardless of who they are, what they've done. If they repent and ask for it, they're no more worthy, more wor more or less worthy than anybody else. Myself. And the most wicked from the least wicked. It's not about that. It's about receiving Christ, receiving forgiveness of sins. You might have more sins. You might have less sins. But you're not going to get justice in this life. True justice. You need. You need Christ. You need that mercy for your own sins. And so I'm not seeking lawful justice. But lawful justice is right. It's established by God to punish criminals and I'm for it. And I would appeal to those people in power to get justice for these. If you're, if you're observing this, if you're a, a, an operative of the government or anything, you, you're listening to this, you need to, you know, you need a shake. You need to check yourself because... Uh, Believers can overturn you because, with the word because you're liars and you know you're a liar. Therefore, you're breaking the law, you're treasonous. Get out of the country or repent and start believing what your conscience and heart believes in. And start putting pressure, start standing up for the truth in these positions of power and stop compromising. Get some justice for these targeted individuals. Get some justice for these abused children. Get some justice for their families who've um, been abused and escaped these things and persecuted for speaking out against it. Get some justice for all the injustices done, all the targeting of elderly people, homeless people, people that are deemed expendable. Let's get some justice for all the, all the lies that uh, the, the the politicians and the, and the and all the people noble so-called noble people in this country that carry on lying to our faces in you know and swearing on the Bible, taking oaths and saying their prayers on a Sunday. Well, God doesn't hear your prayers because you're in iniquity. You're wicked. You need to repent. You're breaking the law might have put you in that position because you are wicked but you need to keep the law you're not keeping the law therefore we're going to have we're going to we're going to have a fallout we're going to have consequences and that's where we're heading and we're going to have the enemy making those events happen and those consequences happening and that enemy is the doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church it's the forces and all the people that are associated to that, the Church of England, all the, all the religious heads and all the people that um, are, are signed up to it and compromised by all the other connections to it. This power, it's a corporate power, it's a military power, it's a power behind all powers. It's a wicked power, it's of Satan. And I am going to put up some uh, lawful documents, I'm going to research and the documents are, you know, these are printed historical documents and you'll see for yourself and it will be more evidence. And like I read at the beginning, where two witnesses, where two, two witnesses come together, that's where every word shall be established. By a two pieces, two, and you've got thousands, you, you see, you believe, you trust in the established word. And then all those evidences will just line up in a straight line. That you could draw a straight line, and and uh, you know this is the proper square and compass that the these wicked uh, Babylonian hybrids use in their Freemasonic ceremonies and their religion. 
you know, they, 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 they pinch everything from the Bible, but they don't believe it. They throw Jesus out and they deny Jesus and take all the goodies. And it's exclusive. You have to be, you have to compromise yourself. You have to make a prat of yourself to get in that, get on in the world because it's all Freemasonry. So I want to speak to these people in power, bro, who are in the law. If you're a Freemason, you're breaking the law. If you're a president or a prime minister, you're a blooming Mason, you're breaking the law. You're you're not above the law. And and that can be overturned by lawful people. And you will face the law. And if you don't face the law, God will overturn you and judge you. And and the whole world will see it up the road. You know, you think you might be in um office today. Where are you going to be tomorrow? What legacy are you going to you, uh, leave behind? Or are you just going to compromise and go along with this uh, iniquity that's done? This wickedness is done in secret and it's connected to our law, to our education system, to our health system. It's ripe, it's rife throughout the establishment and it needs to repent. Christ has already warned you, he's given us the law, he's given the tools to deal with these people. But, these, but people fear these people because they haven't got Christ. They haven't got the law. They're not established. Therefore they're liars and break the law. And hence why we have these people to police us and put us through these tre this treatment. Because we're, we're wicked. And I'm speaking for sinful people in the world. Human nature. And we've all got that nature. Even Christians have got that nature. But we're as a result from the guilt. Because we've believed and we've received forgiveness. Not by our own merit. Not by our own good works. Not by our own uh, super duperness. But no, we humbled ourselves and believed and confessed. And realised we're sinners. We needed saving and we, we trusted and believed. Therefore we were saved. We were exonerated. And we're put on the rock. We have the law. We're the policemen of God. We're the sons of God. We're not above the law. And we're not above other people. We're four people. We're just reprobates that have been given a second chance. Um, so I, I want to appeal to these people who profess to be Christians in the in in, in Parliament. Um, please, you know, examine yourself. I don't know why I'm saying please, but you, you should examine yourselves. I was being polite. You, you, you really need to check your faith. Oh, do you believe? If you believe, have you received? If you've received, are you doing what the book teaches uh, um, within, within the context of your position? Or you're not because you're compromised and therefore you're lying. Therefore, you've been deceived. Um, so, um, you need to repent and, 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 and seek uh, to do what's right with, with the remaining time in office you've got today to make a difference, to, to tackle this problem, to either stem its flow, because I don't think you're going to completely eradicate it, it's impossible. And it's not going to happen because it's it, the words established, and the truth is that man's wicked, and it it can't change itself. DNA manipulation can't do it. Lies, wishful thinking can't do it. It's only something holy and pure can change what is corrupt from the inside, and that comes from God. That is Jesus Christ. You you to reject that at your own peril. You receive that, you'll know that for yourself and you'll be able to establish it yourself by, by that which is established. Because it's a lawful book and I can go around and on forever. So I want to reach out to um, those people, I want to appeal to the lawful officers of our serving nations to do the right thing. And to repent first and seek the living God. And then serve within your office lawfully and stand up against these people and start making laws against this and start, you know, taking it out from the inside. Because the consequences of, uh, of it coming out in the open are far better than the consequences of letting it happen. But because you're fearful, you compromise. So think about that. 
and to anyone who's a perp consider what I've said you're either going to be expended targeted yourself and then, then it'll be ju you just desserts so you'll have no one to turn to um, so I want you to uh, consider those people who are suffering daily because of your ignorance and your continual compromise and, and where that's going to lead the country and your rosy seats you might you might have been promised to see, but don't forget, you're in the house of liars who murder people. So what makes you think you're so secure? You know, think about that, you idiots. You're all founded on each other's lies. You all rely on each other. But when it comes down to it, you're all going to cut each other's throats when the gun gets tough. And you do, because the evidence is out there for it happening on daily places. But you're too dumb and blinded to see it. And you're too fearful to get out of it. So it's your own fault. And I, and, I, and I want to cover a bit about um, people uh, seeking justice and uh, especially as a target and uh, or a um, speaking out against paedophile rings. And whatever your thing is, if you're looking for justice and recognition, I want to say this. I want to thank you very much for your recognition. And, and, uh, and uh, for me, that's justice because that that's living that's a lawful witness for me so thank you for every testimony everyone who shared their testimony as a target whether that's cranky whether that's uh, a bit uh, you know a bit aggressive or a bit but as long as it's true and it's sincere I thank you very much with all my heart because those those testimonies have 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 given my testimony meaning and and, and light and I can establish a lawful point so I thank God for you, those people who are who are seeking justice and are campaigning for justice, and I and I pray that you're going to get your day in court. You, you know, I, I I'm, I'm being realistic. Not everyone's. It's not going to. The whole thing is not going to be overturned because I can look at past cases in history. It, it will get brushed over. The whole thing will be, get brushed over because if the, if the whole truth comes out, the whole world's going to collapse. And there's people waiting for that to happen and trying to make that happen. I'm not going to contribute that. I'm going to, I'm going to stick to the law. So I want to appeal to those people in the law to seek peace and, and, and justice and do what's right, even if it means being killed, even if it means losing your cosy retirement and your, your dreams bursting. Um, because at the end of the day, hell is a reality, divine justice is a reality. Fear God, don't fear what men can do to you, fear the truth. Because the truth doesn't fear scrutiny. If people deny it, people don't want to know it, but that doesn't make it untrue. Um, so uh, appealing to the uh, people to think about these uh, targeted victims, these TIs that are all around the world that are seeking justice and uh, you're party to it if you're not speaking against it. You're guilty. You're not absolved from that responsibility and that's held against you, that's above you. And whatever targeted individuals have done in their life for their guilt, that's above them. But uh, for justice for a nation, for, for the treatment of people, we need justice in our courts. The, otherwise it you know, where are we? It's, 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 it's a shambles, it's a disgrace. You know, it's hypocrisy, it's, it's contemptible. Who wants to be a part of it? So what hope is there for people? What hope is there for this nation if we if you keep spinning these lies and do, doing this? So um, I want to just encourage those TIs who do so, seek for justice. I'm not against... Um, appealing to the unjust judge in court and getting your day on just realistic and my campaign's for gospel but recognition um, if you're seeking recognition if your drive if your drive is to get justice um, I just what well, just take a step back forgive these people and get God's justice and understand God's justice but receive his mercy first, then understand his divine justice, and then you, you have a different perspective on this, and that will help you in your life, it will help you heal, because you'll let go of that, 
God will absolve all that an injustice against you, all that wickedness, all that, you know, and, and it's right that you get justice. But give that to God. and let, he, He's dealt with that. And he's dealt with it when these people die. Because if they die with unforgiven, they get their just deserts. Therefore, so do you. So consider that. And that's how that that's the only approach to any um I'll give you an example. I was a little boy and I went out into the close and there's a stranger just turned up out in it, you know, it's a hot day, he's in his shorts, he had a horse whip, he just started thrashing me with it. No reason, didn't know who he was, couldn't recognise him, I couldn't place him anywhere. He just walked straight in. Right. I, I can speculate and just tell you what my opinion is, where, who, who that was and where that come from, but uh, uh, that's another story. He whipped me, he whipped me and I, I tried to stop him, tried to hit him, tried to punch him. Every time I tried to hit him, he kept whipping me. I was whipped all over, I was cut, I had all these bruises and marks and swelling all over my chest, all over my arms, my face, my hands. I wouldn't stop, I wanted justice. How dare you do that to me? And uh, I couldn't do it barehanded. So I turned, I thought, right, you, you got your whip, I'm going for my bat. So I went for my cricket bat, but it wasn't where I thought it was. So I went for the next best thing, and I couldn't find anything, so I got an axe. I thought that'd do. I'll show this guy. I'll show him injustice. And I went out there without fear. But he was gone. And I was livid. I hunted for that bloke till I couldn't hunt no more. And I was on fire for it. And I had nowhere to put that fire. And I kicked and I smashed. And I smashed that fire out of me. I smashed the wall. And this little still voice said, let it go. And it showed me that... Uh, it ain't going nowhere. I was never going to find this bloke and it was going to eat me alive and I I just couldn't get over it. And I let it go. I listened to that, that, that prompting. I forgave that bloke. I let it go. And I wondered, who is that bloke, you know, what's he doing today? I forgive him, whoever he was, you know. I laugh. Because I, 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 I learned a wonderful lesson. I was very young and I took that lesson throughout my life. Let it go forgive, suffer it, you know. And I've been caught out throughout my life. It's like that um, Back to the Future where he calls him chicken. You can't get over that pride. How dare you? You know, and this is what can drive us because we've all got that. We're wronged. We, wanna, we want that wrong righted. But those wrongs can... I can't go back in time. If I'd have killed that, if I'd have got my revenge... You know, it's a good job I didn't get in with an axe or a bat. Because I, I, I was red rag to a ball. I wouldn't have stopped until it, and then it would have been too late. Uh, so, it was a good job that I, I let it go. I forgave him, you know. And uh, that was the seed planted to, to teach me a principle. So when I did uh, need forgiveness and I received that from Christ, I knew where that, that lesson had come from. That had come from God because that was on my conscience. And God speaks to our conscience through the Holy Spirit, through the through the truth, and that the truth is light. And uh so if you're a seeking justice, you you know, there's nothing it's right to seek justice. But if you let it be the sole focus you can't get on with your life until you've got justice, it 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 will eat you. So God is a revenger of all evil. Seek his forgiveness and, and leave that justice to him. And then you'll be uh, have a clear focus um, and a different perspective in approaching lawful justice. You might see it differently. You might have a... You, it might enlighten you of a... Um, a more prepared approach, a more empowered approach to face your day in court. If that's what you choose, it's not wrong not to seek justice. 
um, to suffer it, to speak out again, not to allow it, but but not to seek it, to forgive it. So I, I've chosen to forgive these people. I'm not going to seek my day in court because I'm realistic, because I know I know the word. So therefore, I'm, I, I extend my um, forgiveness, I earn, and that's the Lord's forgiveness. And that forgiveness is an offer to anybody, whether they're a target, whether they're a gang stalker. But it's your a choice you've got to do. It's a it's something you've got to face in your life, because you're going to face one or two things. You're 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 going to face those you're you're in bed with. You know something's going to go wrong. You're going to get undermined or crossed or disposed of, or you're you're a compromise. You see, and people like to use like dogs messing a the bag. They like to use other people to get rid of a dirty problem, and then they dispose of both. Uh, and if you can't see that, you're a, you're, a, you're a fool and you're blinded. And you're a fool because you're unfounded. And you haven't the truth. So that's quite foolish, that's stupid. But you can, you can receive the truth and escape whatever circumstances you face. With God's help, God is faithful and he's powerful and he can do all... He, he can move things that you wouldn't believe. He can protect you divinely. And he can establish you and put you in on better ground. He will, he's promised. And that ground's sure. And he'll give you that, that sureness within you. That, that, that will live and breathe you. Help you think, help you live your life. Help you establish his law, which is love. To love your neighbour as yourself. So my battery's going flat. And... Um, if I've uh, missed anything, I would uh, I'll add it on to the end. But um, I need to wrap it up because uh, it's getting late and my battery's about to die. So uh, I'd like to leave it there and 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 just give thanks to God and and close in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Right, quickly, I wanted to, um, I just remember something that I'll quickly add on and then wrap this video up. Um, okay, right. Now, it's my understanding that a lot of people who, who've experienced targeting have come across people who perhaps wear a certain colour t-shirt. I just want to, now, I know... I, now, if you've seen, um, if you look at my videos, you'll see one day you see me in a, a, uh, an orange one, then you'll see me in a blue one, and you see. And I've heard other people because they're aware of this and they're aware of what 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 people may think. So I'm going to address that like everyone else and just explain and how these things work and how uh, you know people say oh, it's, it's Satan and it's AI and it's um, targeters and, and it's kind of all of those things. Um, I'll tell you how, why I brought these t-shirts and how, because I, 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 personally I, I'm not somebody for bright colours, but I do like, I, I, you know, I like colours, but um, I, I'm a quite a conservative person, I like plain clothes, I'm, I'm, I don't really like to stand out too much. So, um, I was looking for a plain packet of white t-shirts and and because, um, and you know, I shop online, it's convenient and you get recommend re recommendations. I was looking for packs of packs of t-shirts and I have it and because, because it, now this is what I want to get to because uh, these people profile you you see there's a um, it all works together it, it, it's like an automated um, correlation of information that grows and then it's fed into a supercomputer and then they train that computer to learn people and it, then they run algorithms then they try and predict what you like to buy and then they like to try and put things and suggest things that you should buy so I was by, trying to buy a packet of white t-shirts and uh, there's this offer on and I, I brought some colour t-shirts. So I fell prey to the uh, the automation of, the, of how the whole system works and how this, the world works and how I, you know, I, I was, I fell prey to some advertising targeting because, you know, that's another part of targeting is advertising. It's a target for your mind and your money and, and, and you know, and sometimes it catches you out, and I, I was just caught out in these t-shirts because they were cheap, and I and I brought three packets of t-shirts. I got a 
black packet of t-shirts, a white packet of t-shirts and some coloured ones. My dad wears black so he had those but they didn't fit so I had them. I, I, brought, I brought the packets for white and I got uh, two bonus packets so I ended up with three packets of t-shirts and uh, I thought well I'm not, you know, I don't really like black my dad doesn't want them so I wear them uh, I, I, I like white so I've used the white ones uh, and I thought well I'm not going to not wear the coloured ones hence why I wore three coloured t-shirts so if you think that I'm targeting or I'm part of a conspiracy uh, I, I'm only part of a conspiracy in, a, in that sense and this is how um, targeting works because it has all this knowledge, it has all this access to all these tools and one of those tools is uh, quantum computing and algorithms and mapping and that was done pen and paper and think tanks uh, and now all that information is fed into a computer and all these Google, all these search engines and all, all, all the whole world's going to be um, utilizing this this, this uh, product because it's going to dominate you see so all our profiles are, are mapped and recorded and everything's correlated and it's developed just like targeting just like science just like uh, education just like all things in in development you know it's to learn and develop learn and develop because we're lost <laughs> because we don't believe therefore we carry on learning through through this way which is a right way to learn but we're on our learning is unfounded because we're not we don't believe the truth therefore we're not looking for the truth we're looking for our idea of the truth and therefore we get lost in all these uh, different areas and uh, so the whole world's mapped and correlated and of course uh, advertising is all all big targeting business look at, look at Nickelodeon they target kids and, and pumping sex and all, all the things that, that kids desire to get the money out of, their, out of the parents pocket so the whole world's set up in this iniquity the carrot on the stick and it, and it pulls everyone up on that yoke this is Satan so this is the governing head and then it works through the, the people and that's the fig, f physical establishments and that incorporates advertising and all part of the, the uh, remote neural monitoring and the targeting these people will utilize these things it's all one lump and it goes back to that simple truth I've already established in this video that if you you deny Jesus Christ if you haven't received Jesus Christ and and confess that he he he's the word he's the living God you're a, you're a liar and you're antichrist and this is an antichrist system, this is an anti-law system that we've, we're dealing with. It's an antichrist world because of unbelief. And because of unbelief we've got an unjust world, therefore we, God's put a law for man. But the people in the law are the most base wicked people. So the wicked judge the wicked. The worst wicked judge all wicked because they're the dominant force they got to deal with all the other people wicked so it, it, there's a it cancels the wickedness yokes itself to other wicked um, confrontations so it, it, it's got it, there's a stalemate within wickedness there can only be one power in the world you know this world ain't big enough for the both of us this world isn't big enough for two people who want to dominate the world you know they got a compromise, and so there's all these compromises in the world, and they're all worked. They all serve, they're all self-servant to one another because they all help each other out. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. So all the people that stand up in the world and, and and progress are the people that are established, and they allow that thing because if they they don't want people that are going to rock the boat. Hence why we have targeted individuals and gang stalking, and why we've all, always had it through history, and how we will continue to have it. You're never going to get justice for it. So uh, that that was my uh, final conclusion. So uh, um, any any brothers and sisters uh, in in Christ who who perhaps don't believe in this targeting or or haven't really discovered it, I, I just invite your prayers for these people to to repent and to receive hope, to receive light, you know, to receive justice, to receive uh, edification and, and and a way out and an escape. And, and a way that they can help themselves, help recover themselves from their circumstances, whether that's a targeted individual, whether that's a, a gang stalker that's 
having a change of heart and wants to get out, you know, stuff those people who want to do it and getting off on it, you know, may you get your just comeuppance, but also may you receive mercy and forgiveness when you when you need it. But seek it now, before it's too late, and you don't your justice end up uh, you end up being dead and you're going to hell, you know. And, and I don't wish that on anybody, and I don't like to preach that. But I preach that because that's true and that's right and that's the word, that's the established word. You deny an eternal God, you face eternal consequences. That's just. You know, you you break the law, you get caught by the police, you go to you go to prison or you get you get prosecuted. That's just. You know, if you don't like the law you should say so. You shouldn't lie and break the law secretly. Because that just makes you a lot, uh, just as bad as those those in the law that break it. Therefore, the law remains just, whether those who, whether w wicked people are enforcing the law. The law is just, and you're unjust, because you're a liar. If you if you deny Jesus Christ, my God and Saviour, um, and that's who I stand and defend, because he stood for all men, and he stands for. You know, he, he's not a respecter of persons. He did, 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 he died to save all men, all sinners. He come to save sinners. If you don't think you're a sinner, if you think you're righteous, well, he didn't die for you. But you're not righteous because only God is righteous. You're going to hell. So you're a sinner, and, and Christ died for all sinners to forgive them. So um, I'm going to end it there. Uh, so I'd like to. You know, just uh, I'm praying for those people who are targets. I'm praying that they, you know, they find comfort, they find edification, they find hope, and they find divine mercy and trust in the justice of God over the justice of, uh, uh, you know, a fallen world. With it's not perfect, but we we have justice, which is a good thing, and uh, and and I want to see that justice working and oiled. By the people that uh, that are trusted to serve serve people, serve these vulnerable people. I'm speaking out for Christ for these vulnerable people, these people that are treated like scum because they're uh, or they're denied by the ignorance of the general public. Oh, it doesn't happen, you know. I'm being a voice of recognition for them. I recognise you, you know. The law recognises you, they're just too spineless to deal with it, so don't you worry about that. God recognises you. Recognise God. That you may recognise that for yourself. And uh, I, I, I offer this to God, for him to use. And um, I, I offer it with thanks, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.